A warm welcome, plenty of excitement in the air tonight here in North London. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Manchester United. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. Not a bit naughty, that challenge, so early in the contest. Interesting to see what the referee's going to do about it. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyun Min Son out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better and better, Hyun Min Son. Stewart, what sort of performance might he produce? Well, he's a good all-round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the play, he's good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he runs in behind defenders. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Able to get a body in the way. Shaw. Here's Mount. Oh, he's given the ball away. Rashford well read to ease the pressure Ivan Perisic Perisic on the move here now he must favour the cross will he finish determined defending well the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend well that's the end of that for now well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now, they just need to take one of these chances. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Options in the centre. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Pabier. Now Romero with it. The high press was very much on. Now well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. And taken short. Casemiro. Now with Mount. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be.
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Who can he pick out? And using his body to good effect. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, real chance for him. Well, he attacked it so well and made good contact, but he just couldn't keep it down, could he? Pierre. So here we are, close to the half-time interval, and Spurs narrowly behind. Stewart, what have you made of their performance in the first half? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Pierre. Emerson he's going forward well here Hoy bien really vital interception here Casemiro and so it is the first half story Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Shaw. Now, who can he play it to? Bruno Fernandes. Back with Casimiro. Advantage, Manchester United. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Perisic. Pierre and a chance to level it. Son has put it away. A goal. Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot. But it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Mount. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Dan Yuma. It's a neat move. Son. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Mount. And all the way through to the keeper. Oh, surely! And the keeper got there. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Mm. 
A reminder, tickets for the next game. And they're going for the short one. Rashford. And good work to deny the chance. Corner again. And the short option preferred. Sancho. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. On another corner, can they take advantage of this one? <laughs> Delivering it. Well, not the best clearance. Shaw. Now with Ericsson. Fernandes. Spot on with that tackle. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Now disappointing end to the move. Anthony. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Can they grab the lead late on? Must take the lead here. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Oh, lovely incisive pass. He's managed to get in behind. Kulusevski. Bisuma. Bisuma. Gives it a go. Well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. So, making the substitution now. Well, the short corner routine. Bentancur. Now Romero with it. Perisic. In position. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, still time for them to level it. You'll be hard-pressed to find a better save than that. Loris. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. And still dangerous. Well, nothing comes of it. Advantage, Spurs. This looks threatening, but they're not being allowed to continue. It's offside. Well, he had the vision to pick out the pass, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. And the referee blows his whistle, and Tottenham are the victors. They get the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. So, a top-level contribution from Hyung Min Son. How many times do we say that?